All right, I'm Whoa. here with David and Claire, and I love this. You said you literally walked in the door from work and up on stage. <laughs> I literally left set at like 9.30 in Burbank, drove as quickly as I could, threw on a dress, drove as quickly as I could over here, parked the car. As I'm walking in, I hear comedy. <laughs> and I'm like, let me just take off my coat just in case, and gave my boyfriend my purse and kept walking. Were you freaking out? I, well, I'm sitting there at my table, and I was like, I kept checking my watch, I kept checking my watch, and, like, and, uh, and then all of a sudden, my, my former assistant editor from The Office, Rob, who's now an editor with me on The Mindy Project, he, all of a sudden he says, Claire just walked in. And I'm like, all of a sudden I lit up, and then uh, <laughs> they said, timing. and the winner <laughs> is kidding. The Office, and it's like, whoa, and then I see, and I'm like, I was also sitting on like this side of the room, and the, I don't know if you know, the stairs were all the way on the other side. And I was like, well, we're, Claire's walking in the middle. So I just walked down and met her. I'm like, I'm going to hoist you up on the stage. You know? Now I know what it's like to win at the Golden Globes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so talk to me about, you know, this is the final episode of The Office. Such a beloved show. What's the pressure like for the final episode? It was huge. It was absolutely huge. And luckily, Ken Quapis, who directed the pilot, came back to direct the finale. And Greg Daniels wrote it, who created The American Office. And... It was a lot of pressure and also something that we don't mention much is that everyone was so sad during the shooting of this comedy. So all the actors were crying and then everyone else on set was crying. And so like, we're like, but it's a comedy. It has to be funny. So it was a lot of pressure, but also there was a lot of joy behind making it. Yeah. And I think that came through. Absolutely. And over the seasons, we have seen characters kind of come and go. Talk to me about working with everyone in the editing space. You know, when you say goodbye to Steve and uh, there's got to be that extra pressure, like, we got to do great editing now. Well I, well, I think like even just, you know, there was a lot of pressure on the finale, but I, I feel like there was a lot of pressure on every episode. And we had so many great episodes from, you know, Casino Night, the first time Jim kisses, uh, Jim kisses Pam, from Niagara when they get married, from, uh, you know, uh, God, when when you find out that he's pregnant, when they have when when she's pregnant, when they have the baby, and and yes, uh, you know, when, when Michael Steve, Scott finally finds yeah. love and grows up and yeah. moves on, that was a big yeah. moment. Scott leaving, you know, uh, S Steve Carell leaving. Uh, I have my good luck charm on actually. Um, I am uh, I am wearing this is this was a gift from Steve Carell for him, from his last episode. He gave to some of the the, the key people who were there from the beginning and it just said thanks love Steve and uh, just you know just so I mean he was so great such a such a leader on the set and it was tough it was tough you know letting him go but it was great when he came back and we loved yes. keeping that secret yes, we loved that keeping that secret not even the network knew that Steve Carell was coming back for the fan and if you know anything that's really hard to pull off we hid the dailies nobody saw we transferred them at an alternate location like a mission impossible Stealthy. editor version Exactly, it was all stealth. Yeah, we, I mean, we, even even like the two days before the episode aired, Ken Quapis was in the press saying, you know, no, we're sorry, Steve Carell, we wanted him to come back, and it, yeah, but <laughs> like we we all, for lying, he said. And I and Greg, my boss felt bad, and I told him he felt really bad because he's you know he felt like he was lying to reporters and everything. I said, Greg, if someone asks you, hey, are you throwing a surprise party for me tonight? You say no, and then two hours later, surprise. It's a little white lie. It's okay. You can do it once in a while. We, we wanted to give the audience something really special, and I, I think you know, seeing Steve Carell come back when you don't, don't expect it and everyone says, no, he's not coming back, was just a really, really nice moment. And, I mean, I just thought the script was so great, the way, the way that it all, it all came together. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's a fabulous way to go out. Congrats. I'm glad you, you made it. I know. <laughs> now you get to I go kind it. of take in that you did. <laughs> An amazing story. Felt like maybe you guys edited this together or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much. Thanks.